Hey, welcome to Punica Web and today we're gonna talk about Apple Watch and some issues its users have been experiencing after updating to Watch OS 9. A lot of Apple Watch users running the new software update are complaining about getting a snooze double pinch notification on their Apple Watch. Ideally, this notification should only pop up for users who have accessibility or various assistive touch features turned on. As you can see in this image, this prompt is for the user to snooze their alarm. And it should only pop when users have an alarm set on their device. However, they are getting the prompt even when they have no alarms set up on the device. This is obviously very frustrating for Apple Watch users. Fortunately, we came across some potential workarounds that can help you mitigate the problem. But before we get to that, if this video ends up helping you in any way, please consider subscribing to the channel as we're trying to reach 1000 subscribers before the end of 2022. Here's a picture of a cat as a return gift. Okay, so the first workaround involves going to the settings of your Apple Watch, scrolling down to accessibility. Once you find accessibility, scroll down a little further and go to quick actions. It should be selected to when assistive touch is enabled, then scroll down, go to appearance and select minimal in these settings. After you're done with this, check if the issue resolves for you. If it doesn't, then we have a second workaround for you. Go to accessibility, scroll down until you find assistive touch, then scroll to hand gestures and turn them on or off. I would suggest turn them off and then restart your Apple Watch to see if it fixes the issue. You can restart by clicking on this button and then clicking here. If you really like the hand gestures feature, then after restarting your watch, you can turn them on and see if the notification issue still affects you. If both these workarounds didn't work for you, go back to accessibility, scroll down to quick actions, turn them on and off and try rebooting the Apple Watch once again for a potential fix. We hope we were able to help you fix the issue on your Apple Watch. Let us know in the comments if any of these potential workarounds work for you. You can also check out our article about this topic that is linked in the description. Also don't forget to like the video and join us here for more of our content. Thank you for watching.